So we will try this exercise. Imagine that you are in this room that is dark and empty. Your friends are with you. We are with you, your soul, but allow yourself to be covered. For this exercise, you need not deprive their connection if it feels good for you, but cover your senses and just resonate with being. There is no need to think or to feel. There is no need for tension. Allow yourself to just be still and quiet. There is no need to deny your soul or your friends, but you may have a quiet moment where you relax and be still. Gently gaze upon your being, scan yourself, become aware which of your senses is the first to become activated, the first that wishes to be a conduit for connection. This may be a physical sense, spiritual, emotional, psychological, just be very still, give yourself a moment and one of your senses will offer itself. Give gratitude to your sense. Invite it to open, to relax and receive. And your friends who are with you at this moment and your soul, angel, your guardians, us, your librarians, your soul family, friends of yours from other dimensions, it does not matter who. But invite your sense, your one sense, to receive and invite your friends to connect through this one sense. Receive, accept with gratitude. and invite the sense to flow. Invite the sense to instigate another sense or to just flow where it wishes within you. And trigger another sense when your second sense is triggered, 
invite your friends to also connect through there. And now we invite this energy to fill your being, whichever senses wish to open and trigger, they may just relax and observe your body, your being, as you open and your senses awaken, notice how each is a unique connection. You may even find your friends wish to merge within your being or invite you to step out of your being or they may download to you or have a conversation in words or otherwise. Invite your senses to also flow out of you, to radiate out beyond your physical body so that you and your friends may merge into one. Now, together, you may depart this room, open the door, depart this room, invite them to take you wherever they wish, be it of this planet or another dimension, depart together and allow them to guide you from here to some place for a reason they will share with you.
wonderful. We invite you to return to us, but you may keep your senses as open as you would like. Understand, there is not this or that, there only is. So there is no need for hierarchy or labels, merely an understanding of harmony, balance, and cohesion. Things are in alignment or they are not. Things that are not in alignment with the great all may have a small localized chaos. Chaos is neither good nor bad. It is merely overly active and underly connected. Once the chaos becomes focused and aligned, then it becomes one with all. It is impossible for any that are one with all to be anything other than flowing to the light. Again, neither good nor bad, merely in harmony with existence. As you become harmonious with true existence, you learn to lose the traumas of the chaos that exists in this physical planet you call Earth. Have we questions on any of this? Can you just say that again about the, the chaos when when you get rid of the chaos or how something about you, you become one with the one with something when you eliminate the chaos or something you become cohesive and in harmony with the flow of reality and all reality is connected flowing with love and light you may be in the area that is most filled with evil, but it still flows eventually to the source of love. If you are in harmony, you have the ability to flow the love of source to the most darkest pits. There is no need for discord or victimization. It is only energy flow as we take the experiences we are mandated to enjoy further and further extremes. Does this make sense for you? I think so. Thank you. I'm going to process it. <laughs> think about a moment when you are overwhelmed. Too many expectations have landed upon you in an instant, and you are ready to scream or cry or deny. There is no way. There is no way. This is impossible. Then, who? You take your breath, you become focused, aligned, you put everything into order from highest priority and schedule, and then 
everything relevant is done and everything irrelevant is sent away, correct? Yes. This is the getting chaos into flow towards the light. Your planet is in chaos, but it has the potential to be in flow. Once you are in flow, you can pull the light from the source of love and creation to your planet and infuse it with such energy. You do not need to heal your planet. You need to become one in harmony with flow. The more humans who do this, of course you wish to heal your planet, but what we're saying is healing from a state of despair is not as effective as flowing with the good grace of divine love to your planet. As you are flowing with love and inviting all the dimensions and the highest frequencies of goodness to flow through you to your planet, you will find many good effects within your being and within your life. Others will wish to emulate you and your energy may flow to them as well as your inspiration may impact them.